You know, some families make a mistake when they let the goals of the school become the goals of the family. What I mean is, if the school gives a youngster a low grade, very often the family will turn around and do the same thing and say, well, you must be a low-grade person, so you can't watch TV and you have to go to bed early and you can't drive the car, you can't do this, you can't do that. And I'd like to suggest this, that you have your own goals for your family. And as people don't do well at school or do do well at school, let that be uh, interesting and you could do, relate to that any way you want to, but have your own goals. Have your own grading system at home. Let me tell you two or three ideas that I've heard over the last few years. One lady said that rather than give grades or say you've been a good boy or a bad boy, they had a treasure chest in their home, just a little box. And from time to time, they would all wrap up things that, that they knew none of the other members of the family would know or didn't know that they had. And they would disguise the wrapping and they would put it in. And from time to time, when things went well in the home, people had cleaned up their room when they were supposed to. And they'd been especially nice at the table or they complimented mother on her meal. Uh, they would get to go to the treasure box and take a reward. Not A, B, C, D, just a surprise. Another interesting idea that I heard from a, a family, they said that uh, they'd gotten hooked on collecting stamps, S and H green stamps and uh, top value stamps and value plus stamps and just stamp, stamp, stamps. And so they decided that what they needed to do was to have each youngster have his own book. And they would take the stamps that they had collected from the stores and keep them in a drawer. And then as things happened at home that made the family a better place to live, a person could earn stamps. If he got the table set at a certain time and if he did other things that made, they played a game and helped a little one or babysat, they'd give them stamps to fill in their own book and to get their own prizes and their own rewards. One interesting idea that uh, I'm kind of afraid to try in my family, we've got too many youngsters, I think I'd go broke, but one, uh, one mother said, well, she decided that instead of having a report at the end of the day saying, oh, I'm so sick and tired of the way things are going on or gee, wasn't this wonderful, she just kept a ledger and every day at the end of the day, she indicated on the ledger what kind of a day she thought a youngster had had. A $4 day, a $3 day, a $2 day, or a $1 day. And she said often they'd come in and say, $2.50, $3. And she'd say, uh, $2.60. They'd say, $2.80, $2.70, $2.75, $2.73. She said it was like the Dow Jones average would go up and down every day. And at the end of every month, instead of an allowance, they actually had a little payoff day and you got your average, your $1.67 or your two twenty-three, dollars or your three and a quarter. Have your own goals at home and don't grade people A, B, C, D. Grade them in terms of what's good for this family.